that I'm here at 42. That's right. Beyonce celebrated her 40 second birthday <laughs> during night three of Los Angeles Renaissance in the SoFi Stadium in Inglewood slash Los Angeles, California. After opening the show with Dangerously in Love, Beyonce took a few moments to let the crowd in on what was going all up in her mind right now on a special day. I'm thankful for every flaw, every stretch mark, every fupa. <laughs> Beyonce, if you got flaws, where the hell does that leave the rest of us? <laughs> We're like catastrophes then. Now she did say, that some of the flaws aren't um, visible to the eye. So Jay-Z, this is where you come in. <laughs> I'm thankful for my husband. I'm thankful for all the shit we've been through. Because you can turn that beep into Grammy gold. I'm thankful that we all have the ability to make lemonade out of our limits. <laughs> And had three amazing kids who Beyonce also acknowledged. And then she thanked the grandparents. I'm thankful for my beautiful father who's here tonight. Before the show, Matthew Knowles wrote on both Twitter and Instagram, Beyonce, I've had the pleasure of watching you perform throughout the world during the Renaissance tour. On top of watching your incredible talent displayed in full force on stage, I also see each show bringing people together from all creeds, backgrounds, races, ages, and identities. It's an incredible sight witnessing complete strangers talk, dance, laugh, and celebrate together at each show with no judgment, just love. I'm thankful to be able to provide a safe space for all of y'all. Beyonce, you've given the world more than a concert. You've started a movement. Today's your day to dance, laugh, and celebrate. I'm thankful for all of you guys who have been with me since 1997. <laughs> Dance to the music that is bringing the whole world together. Laugh with the amazing people around you. Celebrate the lives you've touched, the impact you've made, and the amazing person that you are. Happy birthday, my daughter, Dad. I thank you for his sacrifice, for his pain. I'm thankful for my mother. To Johnny! My beautiful queen. birthday B-Day like <laughs> Yeah, while well, during the show B called T-Queen before the show Tina was bowing down to Queen Beyonce with B's own glam squad <laughs> We are having fun and tonight is very special The Queen's birthday All hail to the Queen Posting a photo of Beyonce's 39th birthday with her three kids Tina wrote on Instagram screaming happy birthday to my daughter my best friend my confidant I thank God for choosing me to be the vessel in which you traveled to get to this world. You are such a rare and precious gift to the world, not only as a genius entertainer, you're a gift because of your beautiful and generous heart. The love you give, the grace you give, the wisdom that you show. I go on and on, but every word is true. You deserve to have the happiest day ever because you give your heart and soul to the world. Happy birthday, my firstborn. Oh no, snoog, no snoogums, okay. Never seen that word in uh, written form there before. There you go, snoogums. I'm thankful for Kelly Rowland. <laughs> Michelle Williams. Latoya. Lucky. Latavia Robinson. Now Kelly was the only one in attendance, but all four of the Destiny's Child ladies posted about Bee's birthday. So there's Kelly's, and she wrote, Till the wheels fall off. I love you. Happy born day, B. There's Michelle's. And she wrote, I sure love you. Happy birthday, B. Latoya Luckett shared this old school in life photo yeah, of B, possibly celebrating her own or someone else's birthday, and then posted a more recent photo for another B B day shout out. And then an interview that she did somewhere in between that first photo and the second photo. Happy birthday, B. I love you. I wish you more success and happiness, most importantly. First on her Instagram story, Latavia Robertson posted this amazing shot of Beyonce in the teenage years, it looks like, and then shared an even older photo in a post writing, Happy 42nd to one of my dearest. I still remember that golden dream you always had. So happy to have been part of that. Enjoy this birthday. You beyond earned it. Love you always, Beyonce. 
Obviously, it's not a big surprise that Beyonce mentioned Kelly and Michelle in her speech, but Latoya and Latavia aren't always name dropped when it comes to Destiny's Child. I don't mean they aren't by Beyonce, just in general when people talk about Destiny's Child, yeah, they don't really come up in the conversation that much. I found it very interesting because yeah, there's this big rumor that one of the acts in Beyonce's Renaissance three act thing is gonna be a Destiny's Child album and maybe a tour. I think it's very interesting that not only did Beyonce name them by name. I'm thankful for Kelly Rowland. Yeah! But all four of them, sure, Kelly Michelle would have done it. All four of them put something up for Beyonce's birthday. I think that's very interesting. So for me, that's a very telltale sign that something's happening. I think it'd be very cool. Uh, maybe, I don't know, but be on an album, but at least going on a tour, I think it'd be very cool to have them be part of it and be part of the songs that they, yeah, don't have them on the whole show, but have them be part of the songs that they were part of. Um, and why I think that's so cool is because they'll get paid. <laughs> like, I'm sure they've made some royalties and stuff like that, but obviously not the money that Beyonce, Michelle, and Kelly have. And of course, the three of them deserve to have more money than Latavia and Latoya out of Destiny's Child. But they were part of the foundation of Destiny's Child that allowed Beyonce, Kelly, and Michelle to launch into one of the biggest girl groups of all time. So they don't just deserve their flowers. They deserve some dollar dollar bills, and a tour would do that. So yeah, I think it's a great idea, and I think that's what they're hinting at. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, what did you think of Beyonce's speech? It's a very interesting one. Um, the line about um, the beat that we've been through about Jay-Z. Very um, on the nose. Yeah, what are your thoughts? My heart is full. My soul is full. I'm so thankful.